as a pandemic changed so much of our plans that you know everybody had for Easter, we had to come up with a way to celebrate the risen Christ. And a vehicle parade seemed like a safe way to do that. And arriving at the, the Heights and seeing so many beautifully decorated vehicles coming up, seeing the flags in the Mary Garden, watching sisters from the inside looking out, and then seeing so many sisters standing outside with signs and it was cold and they were standing there. Boy, it sure filled the air with love and hope. And we may not have spent Easter with our children or our parents or our siblings, but we were with family celebrating a beautiful, blessed Easter. Good morning, this is Sister Marilyn, and I work part-time at the college and live here at Presentation Heights. And I've loved my experience here very much. On Easter Sunday, a lot of the staff from the Presentation Convent organized a Easter parade and they, what they did was they did it all in their cars and they drove by the mother house. And many of us went outside. Some of us carried signs and all of the people who came by on the cars had signs on their cars. And the car, all their messages was for hope and peace and love. And so that's the way it started. And it was very nice. The sisters all thought it was very good because they loved the staff and they were happy to be able to see them even though they were in their cars and could not talk to each other very much. Some of them might yell across and that's the way it was. Some of the sisters on this floor that I live on have been making the masks to send out to the hospitals and nursing homes and anywhere else that they want masks. And I'm not very good at sewing, so I didn't help to with that too much. One of the things that I've done to keep my time occupied was I communicate with the college students and staff. When the college decided to finish the semester online, the faculty had to change their course of action. What they would do instead of tests and discussions and how the, to have the students do some of their final projects. Martin Abel teaches uh, the religion classes a lot. And he had some of his students write letters to the sisters to ask questions. And one of the questions that he, they always asked was, what led you to become a sister? So I enjoyed doing that. I would respond back to the student. Usually they wrote first and told a little bit about themselves, about where they lived and what they liked about Presentation College. And I would respond by answering 
if they had any questions, like I would respond to their questions. Sometimes I would share about my own life because they had shared about theirs, I would share about mine. Actually, I think it was Martin Novel's class probably responded to about 30 students from his class. Then another, Mar uh, Margie Washnock teaches nursing. And she asked some of her students to write to us. And they asked if we had any questions about this coronavirus that was going around. So that was all done by le letters. Why well, they would write the letter and send it to me by email, and I would respond by email. I, I just enjoyed that experience. <laughs>